guys, uh, today I'm going to go over how to recover your data after system failure. If your machine is just not booting up anymore, for whatever reason, if the power supply died, or maybe you have some bad memory, or your motherboard died, or maybe your display went out on your laptop, any of these reasons, then I'm going to show you how easy it is to recover your data. I'm going to show you how easy it is to pull out your hard drive, we'll get a storage enclosure, just pop it in, and then we'll attach it to another machine. It'll appear as an external storage enclosure, and then you're able to pull your files off safely and easily. So just keep watching, and I'll show you how easy it is to follow these steps. First thing we want to do is take a look at the back of our laptop. Most laptops, you will find a slight symbol that looks like this. It looks like a little stack of CD drives. That's a symbol that usually depicts a hard drive internal behind this panel. There's a few screws around the enclosure. We're going to unscrew this and pry off our panel. Be sure to get all the screws before you try prying it off. You don't want to damage the panel. Now you should be able to see your hard drive. It looks similar to this. It will look like a rectangular cylinder. It looks pretty much down like this. On the back side it will have some hard drive information such as the size and the vendor. This hard drive specifically had a small case that I had to remove. Now if we take a look at our hard drive, you should see it has some screws on the side. This is where I removed the top plastic cover from. So once I do that, you should just be able to see this is what most or all uh, laptop hard drives will look like. Desktop hard drives will look slightly bigger than this. We're going to remove the single serial ATA cable. If you take a look at the connection, it will look like this. This is a standard serial ATA laptop hard drive. Now, if you look, this is some older hard drives will have this connection. This is an older IDE hard drive. The reason you need to know this is because before you go out and buy your enclosure, you should know what kind of hard drive you have. If it's a slightly older hard drive, you might have this older IDE. Now, they has this little connection in front. To be able to connect it to your storage enclosure later on, you're going to need to remove that little connector. It comes off like this. Be sure to do it gently so you don't bend any of the pins. Okay. Now you're ready to plug it into your storage enclosure. Here's an example of a storage enclosure I bought. Now it's pretty standard. It has lights on one side that lights up. It's empty on the other one side. And I have this little connector right here that I'm going to attach. This is a external enclosure for a laptop serial ATA uh, storage enclosure or hard drive. It has two USB connections. It needs an extra USB for power. All right, so now if we just pop this right out, we're going to connect in together my serial ATR hard drive. Just make sure it snugly fits in there. Nicely pressed up against flush to the connection. I'm going to make sure it's nice and firm. Then when it gently slide it into the enclosure, it should be a nice cozy fit. And you just make sure, don't try to push it in there. You want to gently slide it in. Make sure the sides line up. And once you do that, there a lot of them have little screws you're going to have to screw in just to uh, secure the hard drive in the enclosure. Mine has two tiny little screws that I'm going to just screw in right there on either side. Once my storage enclosure is completely uh, assembled, I will go ahead and attach this uh, storage enclosure to another machine. If the machine originally had Windows on it, you go ahead and connect it to another Windows machine. If it had a distribution of Linux on it, you can go ahead and attach it to another Linux distribution and it should recognize the file system without a problem. If you only have a Linux machine available, it will detect both your Windows partition and your Linux partition, so no need to worry there. Now here you can see I attached my storage enclosure to another Windows machine. It appears as my F drive under hard disk drives. Now if you click on it, you will see your entire file system. Your user files will be stored traditionally on a Windows machine, Windows 7 specifically under your C drive, users, and then your user name. So my username in this case is data. So C drive users, and there you should see your desktop for all your desktop icons. You see my documents, music, my pictures, etc. So you get access your files there. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye! Thanks for watching. Subscribe up to get updates.